Thailand recently played host to the first international caddy championship. Based in Pattaya, a beachside resort to the south of Bangkok, the competition is between the very best female caddies from across Thailand, South Korea, Cambodia, China and Malaysia. Often seen as a way of escaping the factories, caddyship is a flourishing industry in the region. We think caddy is very important. So I talk to everyone that we should support our caddy to learn about golf, to play golf, and give them an opportunity to play golf on their own courts. And that's how it happened. So we started with the tournament for Pattaya Golf, and then the second year round, we 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 are traveling along across Thailand to promote the Caddy Championship. And during the first first since the first year, our winner get the big bonus if they win to go to Korea. The lush surroundings of the Siam Country Club was the setting for this particularly colorful tournament. Each caddy has a caddy of their own for the day, illustrating the abundance of staff Thai golf courses have. It has become a defining feature of the game in Thailand, especially in Pattaya, and really marks it apart from golf in the Western world. Tour operators in the region really recognise the potential this has for growing the game in Asia. Oh, very much so. Yeah, there's very few courses that we, we see, only, only the top ones really in the US, uh, well in Europe, that, that would have caddies. In the US I know it's more common, but these are quite often students who are working part-time. The caddies here are usually ladies, they're usually from the northeast of Thailand or in some cases even from Cambodia. And for them it's a full-time occupation uh, and it actually pays a lot better than working in a factory. The tournament is held in the self-proclaimed land of smiles and has become a catch-all for young, talented female golfers and has grown year on year. Uh, altogether about 800 caddy uh, playing in the qualifying round. And today is the final round, which is 144 exactly, and five uh, different countries competing. One of the most important measures of how successful the Caddy Championships has been will be if any of these players can convert to the professional game. Well, I have no doubt, because my Caddy, uh, most of them do not go to school, they finish. And that job is here every day. They work at the golf course. Now the golf course allow caddy to play in, the, in, the, in their own golf clubs. So that means in the morning they take a job, and the afternoon they can go out, do their own. Uh, they can tee off every day, they can practice every day. Imagine one day after one day, one year after one year. I would say in the next three years, we'll find a uh, uh, LPGA Thailand caddy who will compete in Asia and in Europe. The chance for these young golfers to play tournament golf and for their caddies to experience working in a competitive environment couldn't survive without major sponsors, and the beer company Singer had been involved right from the very start. Having a sponsor with a stake in so many global sport franchises has been a blessing for the championships. We support Manchester, uh, Manchester United and also F1 Formula and all the top players in the golf industry. But for the caddy event, we feel that this is the, it's gonna be the great event for the people who are always behind the scene, caddies. I think everyone overlooked them. I think without them, all golf courses cannot operate that. And things believe that the people who are always behind the scene has a talented but never discovered. So Singh would like to give them the chance to explore, to learn, and to get that opportunity, opportunity to develop themselves and also develop each other. Another defining aspect of golf in Asia is evening entertainment, and the Candy Championship was no different. A spectacular setting in the clubhouse gardens for the gala dinner, music entertainment, and prize giving rounded off the day in fine style. The prices beside the, the trophy, the uh, prize money, which is not much because they're amateur, but there will be a lot like uh, equipment, accessory. But uh, the big prize is they win a trip to Santiburi, Chiang Mai. Santiburi, Chiang Rai, north of Thailand, for airfare, 
accommodation, and two rounds of golf. And beside that, these are the, the first six best of today's final. And the, the best four uh, is not over yet. They will continue to go to Korea for the International Korea Championship next year. And all paid for by the sponsor of the, uh, the golf course in, in Korea.